This is the Futurebit Apollo 2, the latest Bitcoin miner from the company Futurebit. It's actually a full node miner, which means you can store the whole history of Bitcoin in here and become a real part of the ecosystem of the Bitcoin network. In addition, you can mine Bitcoin with up to 10 terahashes of mining power with consuming less than 450 watts. This is a amazing miner that I'm gonna open up with you guys and they have a new software I'm excited about. Let's do the unboxing and the setup together. From the inside, you can see the white paper of the Bitcoin, all, all of it. It looks like the complete white paper is in the box. Here is a unit itself. It actually has everything you need in one box and you can see it has a one terabyte memory inside to store the full Bitcoin node in your home. And everything is also built in. Power supply is built in. All you have to do is plug in the power and it also comes with the power cord included. All right, let's set it up. Now I'm simply gonna plug it in. We are now plugging in the network cable as well. So we got ethernet. Now that we're on the computer, I found it on Advanced Port Scanner. I just looked through and I found the IP address 192.168.1.153. For you, this might be different. All I have to do now is click on Start Setup Process. It's asking me if I want to do solo mining or pool mining. For me, I'm going to do solo mining today, which means I'm going to receive zero rewards unless I hit the block. I do have quite a lot of machines at this point running on a solo so I can just add on to my network and try to get a block. I have a little bit more higher chances. If you want to get small amount of reward every day, you can do pooled mining but remember 10 terahash is not a whole lot of power when it comes to having a real income. So I think most people should go with solo mining and that's what I'm gonna do. I have my IP address here and my CK pool. I'm already having 12 terahashes power. So I'm gonna add to that. I'm gonna make myself a password. It looks like we're already starting to run. The hard drive have to be filled up with the Bitcoin node. So this will take a while. All the node have to download. Once it's all done, we have a Bitcoin node, which means you're part of the network, you're supporting the network, you're processing transactions, you don't get paid. This is something you do to promote it, the network, you support it. That's awesome. I'm gonna have my own node here in the warehouse, always running. I wanna show you the different minor modes that this has. You have eco mode, balance, and turbo. Those modes change how much power you have for mining and also how much power you consume. The more power you have for mining, the higher hash rate but also the more power consumption, so you pay more for electricity. So you can choose whichever you want. I'm gonna choose turbo because I wanna go hard. I wanna go fast, get the most amount of hash rate I can. We are all set up and mining, and you know what? We're getting over nine terahashes of power. It's a little bit loud. You can have it in your house, but maybe, maybe not in your living room. So it can also warm up your house too in the winter, and it's, uh, not too much power, 350 watts right now. And what's cool about it, when I should go to settings, I can show you that we are actually solo mining mode from our own node. So you're gonna be the one getting 100% of the payout. You can choose other pools if you want to, if you don't wanna do a full node mining, it's actually a little cheaper. You don't have to have the SSD. You can actually buy the version without it. This is the full node version. Go to the link below in the description or go to bitcoinmerch.com. We have them in stock. You can see here, we got the full node version. That's the one I'm testing right now. And we have the standard version. Thank you guys so much for watching. Become a blockbuster today. Go to bitcoinmerch.com, pick yourself a miner, start mining, learning, and maybe hitting a big block. See you guys next time. Peace.